Hey guys from The Thoughtful Gardener, don't you just love tea? I'm going to be planting a tea garden this year and I want to show you a technique for scarifying your seeds. That's kind of scare. Scarifying seeds is really important with hard coated seeds. And we're going to be growing a beautiful plant that I think you're going to want in your garden too. I first had this tea in a store in Thailand. They poured me a glass of butterfly pea tea that they had grown in their own garden as I was shopping. I just love the blue color of the flowers. And what's really fun, this this is what the blue flowers make, is a blue pea tea. If you're a fan of tea, you're gonna love this one. It's gonna be fun for your tea parties because look at that color. And it's just as pretty in the cup. Blue pea tea has become a favorite of smoothie bars and other really high-end juice drinks because of not only the really cool color, which looks amazing in the cup, but it has health properties as well. This is what the dried flowers look like. And according to the translation, it improves your visibility, increasing coronary flow, optimization of the eye, such as glaucoma, diabetic eye disease, Alzheimer's disease and cataracts. Now I'm not here to make any health claims about this tea, but I think it's very interesting that I'm seeing it more in smoothies offered as smoothie bars, as well as offered in drinks at very nice high-end breakfast places here in the United States. Clearly there's some health benefits to this flower, but my favorite part about it is the color. I mean, look at that blue. Isn't it just stunningly gorgeous? But you can't just plant these seeds. If you just plant these seeds, they're not going to do well. Uh, you're going to need to scarify them. Scarifying is very simple. You can do this multiple ways. You can see that this seed has a very hard coat on the outside. Now, one way you can do this is with your nail clippers. This seed has a very hard coat and you just want to barely nick it. I didn't even cut the seed, I just cut the edge of it, but you can see that seed very visible on the inside. Another way you can do this is with a nail file. You can just scratch it. Now, probably the easiest way to do this is just to use a piece of sandpaper. All we're doing is roughing up the outside. That's going to allow us to soak this overnight. And what the Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company suggests is that you need to uh, try to soak it overnight before sowing. Now a trick I use with my tea leaves is to put the tea leaves down in with the seeds once they've been scarified and soak them overnight. The tannins in tea leaves actually help soften the seed coat. So if you're a tea drinker, you definitely want to try this trick. It will just make it a little bit easier for the seed to uptake the water. This is a tropical perennial. So if you are uh, in a zone seven like mine, this is not gonna come back year after year. You're going to need to um, plan to plant it every single year. 10 and 11, you guys are good. This is gonna grow for you. It's going to climb, which means it's going to need support. So wherever you plant it, you probably wanna have a trellis ready to go. So, I hope that you will consider putting in a tea garden yourself this year. I really love a warm cup of tea on a cold day, and I think that this will be a welcome addition to your tea garden. Garden thoughtfully and take care.